we're really proud that we're the first home to be built in Connecticut. We looked in New York State and we looked in Connecticut and um, this is a beautiful piece of land and we think the house looks gorgeous on this piece of land. So it I'm really glad to does. be first. It's always great to be first. <laughs> Amy, thank you for letting us come and visit your beautiful inertia home. You're welcome. It's I just, love it. It's wonderful. I'm so glad. This is an Aquarius model, is that correct? Yes. Aquarius 1, I think. We liked the sun space being a little bigger, and um, we loved the idea of having a balcony off the master bedroom that was also uh, contained within that tower. I believe you visited our dealer in Vermont. Yes. Early in the process. Uh, first I called Mike Sykes at mm -hmm. Inertia and said, send me all the brochures and everything. So he did that. And then I called Tim Sund and said, I'm interested in building one of these homes and you are the contractor for this area. And he said, I am and we're building a house in Chester. Please come up and take a look, which we did. We drove up and visited that house about halfway through that build and met Tim and his crew and the homeowners. And that's what really decided it for us. You really enjoyed working with the Sun. Very easy to work with. Did a great job um, because they built a number of these homes and they live in one. If a challenge came up or something in the build was other than what I had expected, uh, they were able to tweak the, the build. Um, we love the living room and the, the fireplace is so beautiful and it's very cozy and we can look out here into the sun space and see mm -hmm. uh, quite a view so this house has very clean lines and that's what we like and that is what our style is so we were easily able to take our contemporary style into this home and our friends have commented on that, that they didn't know what to expect, and then when they got here, they were just stunned <laughs> on many levels. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what were the so. features of the inertia home, the unique to an inertia home, that drew you to it? The wood build, using wood for thermal mass, uh, the envelope build. I love the idea of having uh, a house within a house. That's how I've, I've explained it to friends mm -hmm. who uh, don't know what we've done here. And, and uh, feeling like we have two areas that we can live in, the inner envelope, and also we use the outer envelope as much. But most of all, the build with the wood. Uh, uh, the wood and the envelope, that, that was it for us. The envelope stays so warm that um, on a cold day, I can open the sliders and get the warmth from the sun space into the dining room, kitchen, and living room, uh, which means the auxiliary heat doesn't have to come on. Uh, and I can do the same in the bedroom. I can mm -hmm. open the door into the sun space and take that heat into the, into the interior. It's, it's really great. And what you may not even realize is that you're getting radiant heat from the wood itself. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's, it's really great, it's really great. It works well. I have found that the temperatures given in your brochure about the inner envelope staying at around 65 has proven true. Um, we generally find that it's 66, 67 degrees in the inner envelope mm -hmm. without any uh, heat augmentation. Every week when we come, it's kind of, we keep waiting for it to get colder and colder outside so we can say, all right, you know, are, how true are these numbers as to how warm the inner envelope, the outer envelope, you know, will stay? Because it's, it's currently pretty consistent. It's very consistent. Um, but we yeah. haven't had yet any below zero weather. Um, so we look forward to that. Yeah, we really I, look forward to I, that. Right? I love walking in and checking the temperature to see. But yes. I will say this, even to go from the garage, which is attached through the mud room to the house, uh, when I'm outside and I come into the garage, or in the morning when I get up, go out into the garage, it's freezing. And I walk back into the house realizing the only difference really is the build of the house. Right. And, uh, and also people who aren't, it isn't their home, they're not that actively connected to the passive solar element of it. Really, the testament for them is that it's comfortable, you know, they think it's a great house, they really 
you know, enjoy the design elements and such, but, um, and they're not cold. Them works. And when we had friends come up uh, this summer, uh, they walked into the inner envelope and said, is the air conditioning on? And I said, no, it's not on, you know, so they, they get it. As I they remember, one of the first things you did was put up those solar panels. Indeed, that green technology went in early. Right, so now you're making power with the photovoltaic panels. X, absolutely. There is an interesting thing that happens that no matter what you use of the electricity, you pay uh, a small delivery charge, mm -hmm. which I think is hilarious because, you know, the sun is delivering it, but uh, I don't mind. So uh, every couple of months I pay $16 for the privilege of being tied to the grid, and that's fine. Do your friends believe you when you tell them that you pay a $16 bill every couple of months? I show it to them. 